Tony D and Little Joan, and this is a second screenwriter's rant on Megalopolis because we got ourselves a trailer controversy. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books. 1 through 4, 15. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So what's the controversy? These uh, quotes from old critics on Francis Ford Coppola's classic movies are apparently all fake. Um, I noticed one immediately when I saw this. Uh, it wasn't this one. This is uh, Andrew Saris from The Voice. I don't remember that. Him calling, calling the Godfather, Godfather sloppy and indulgent. Diminished by its artiness, Pauline Kael. I knew this one was fake because uh, I know someone who made a documentary about Pauline Kael. And we had talked about her uh, and the various movies she critiqued. And she championed The Godfather. She liked The Godfather a lot. Sorry, blowing up on the phone. And um, so right away I thought, oh, that's weird. Maybe she had a you know, another review and then later changed her mind. Now it turns out Lionsgate has admitted to making up all of them. Now, uh, I've done that for my comics. Uh, I put little fake reviews on the back of uh, one of the super frat comics, but they were wildly, uh, you know, crazy. They were, they were they were crazy reviews and they weren't real people weren't real publications and the idea was to the joke was you know the characters in super frat are so outrageous they insult uh people church going folk and you know other people who are who are of proper society i mean that's sort of their shtick but this these are actual publications and Real critics' names. Rex Reed, he was a critic. I don't know if he's still around. I don't think he is. Um, Roger Ebert, he, he is certainly gone. Um, yeah, apparently he did not say this. I almost could see him saying that, but I think he liked the movie too. So it's weird that they went down this road. They could have gone down a I mean, I'm sure somewhere they could find critics who didn't like these movies and quotes from them. If they really dug. Uh, they just wouldn't be famous. But then again, like, who the hell remembers Rex Reed other than movie heads like me? Who the hell remembers Pauline Kael? I wouldn't remember Pauline Kael, except that I actually worked on that documentary as a PA and learned more about Pauline Kael. I... Before that, I don't think I could have picked her name out. Uh, I probably had heard it once or twice. Rex Reed, I definitely knew because I remember Rex Reed, Roger Ebert, of course. He used to watch uh, his TV show. Uh, so it's so bizarre that they would make up these quotes and put them ahead of this just to promote megalopolis now this is the second trailer for megalopolis it looks this is the first part of it which is from the first trailer i i'm not a huge fan of multiple trailers it seems to me like a it's like a shotgun they're scatter shotting trailers all over the internet hoping you'll see them um now, for a movie like Megalopolis, uh, this is a big movie about big ideas. Um, the visuals, you know, are, are iconic like this. I, I, I get why you're doing it. Um, this one tells you more about the story. Uh, there was a disaster in New York, and this architect, like a Steve Jobs type you know, visionary Elon Musk. He's going to rebuild New York, is the idea, and make it amazing. Like, make it great instead of, you know, sucky. But there's this decadent ruling class, and uh, 
I'm not sure what what's going on here. Is it is this a real scene or is this a a fantasy scene? There seems to be parties nonstop. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like the fall of Rome. Aubrey Plaza is in it, and she looks pretty good. Uh, Gus from Breaking Bad is in it. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito. He's in everything these days, isn't he? John Voight is in it. Uh, everybody's a Lawrence Fishburne. Everybody's in this damn thing. So, you know, he is Francis Ford Coppola, a great filmmaker. So, even if this movie isn't that great, September 27th, rated R for adult situations. Even if this movie isn't great, it'll probably have some interesting ideas. Because like uh, guys like Christopher Nolan and Martin Scorsese, he's not screwing around. I mean, he's, he's going to try to do something big. He's not... He's ambitious. And this is his first movie. God knows how... This might be his last movie. So I think this is probably one to see. Um, especially if you're a movie head. And... Um, in terms of this trailer, though, this just seems another weird misstep that feels like it's been designed to hold back this movie. So, let's count the ways here. The first thing that I think happened was um, there was some there was some chatter about the movie, and it was over over budget or something, uh, very minor. Then the next thing, I think, was they couldn't get distribution. Then the next thing was they tried to Me Too Francis Ford Coppola, and it turned out to be uh, totally bogus. Um, now, uh, it seems like this has happened. So there seems to be a lot of missteps here that feel awfully like they're sabotaging the movie for some reason. And you might say, ah, you're a paranoid nut. Maybe. Maybe I am. Um, but I don't think so. Because keep in mind, movie studios spend millions and millions and millions of dollars. And it doesn't require millions and millions of dollars to sabotage your opponent. It just requires thousands and thousands of dollars. Which isn't much in the bigger scheme of things. So... If you're a rival studio and you want to tank this movie, it uh, and you could spend, I don't know, 20 grand doing it, that's not a lot of investment to torpedo your rivals. And you could do it. Depends on where they're vulnerable. With Francis Ford Coppola, feels like they don't know where to go at him. I mean, the Me Too thing could have worked, uh, but it felt off to me, right from the beginning, an older guy, yes, with older sensibilities, but the actors tend to be that way, not the directors, and not in front of everybody. The The report was like Francis Ford Coppola's groping girls and bragging about it in front of everybody. That's not the way guys who are going to engage in that behavior are going to just do it. They're not going to be that, No, nobody's going to be that flagrant about it in this day and age they're going to try to hide it so it already sounded very sus right out the gate and he to my mind has never been accused of behavior like this Harvey Weinstein uh, to, to make a comparison uh, Seth MacFarlane made a joke about him before he was credibly accused uh, Courtney Love in an interview famously said or made some allusions, I'll say, to his sort of behavior. So, guys who are like that, there's not zero evidence usually of their behavior. You know, ha uh, Hannibal Barris famously called out Bill Cosby a bunch of times before he was charged in a serious way. So, you know, I that stuff felt like nothing from the beginning and then he comes out with his first movie and god knows how long he needs 
a decent distributor, Hollywood pisses away money on all sorts of movies that you wonder, why did they even bother? And they won't give an auteur like Francis Ford Coppola, the guy who made The Godfather 1 and 2, distribution for $100 million? That's not even big money anymore. Something is very rotten in the town of Hollywood that they're trying to torpedo this movie. And for what? For what exactly? You've got a bunch of A-listers. you got Adam Driver uh, in the lead. He's, he's at the top of his game. You've got Aubrey Plaza. You've got all these big names. Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, you know, people, Italia Shire's in it. Um, big names. A big Hollywood produ production. And you're torpedoing it. Why? Is Hollywood that petty? I would suggest yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, judging by this newer trailer... I'm more inclined to say it. Yeah. Um, the quotes, I, I kind of don't even care about. I mean, at first I thought it was clever until I got the Pauline Kale, and then I was like, wait a minute. Um, even if they had been legit, not really the biggest... Hollywood doesn't have the cred to do that. Francis Ford Coppola kind of does. Um, he has a pretty good track record. But Hollywood, just doing marketing, I don't know why they bothered to do this. Like, okay, mentioning the old movies probably is a way to get people in the movie theater, but making up quotes? I, I don't get Lionsgate. And I really, really wish I hadn't bought a couple of their stock. Anyhow, this isn't financial advice. That's it for me, Tony D., and Little Joan, check us out on the green site, the orange site, the black site. You know what they are. The links are in the description. Also, check out my books. Check me out on Saturday. I'll be at Shoreline Vintage for the big uh, uh, vintage show. That's from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Richland, New Jersey at Shoreline Antiques on Saturday. Hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow.